In this video, we will enumerate the instruments used for colonic blobectomy. In instruments used for colonic blobectomy, the first is electrosurgical unit. Biopsy forceps. Either cold biopsy forceps or hot biopsy forceps. Cold biopsy forceps, either with or without spike, and have different shape according to their jaw shape. Either round jaw shape or oval jaw shape or elongated jaw. Other variation of cold biopsy forceps include swing jaws or rotatable jaws or angled jaw. Hot biopsy forceps, connected with electrosurgical unit, but no longer recommended because of thermal injury and incomplete removal. Bulobectomy snares. Snares have different shapes and sizes. As regarding snare shape, we have round snare or oval snare or hexagonal snare or crescentic snare. Other snare shape including spike tipped or stiff snares which facilitate positioning and the grasping of the lesion by preventing sliding over the lesion. Diamond shaped snare used for cold snare bulbectomy. Submucosal injection needle, 23 or 25 gauge injection needle for submucosal injection to left colonic lesion. Importance of submucosal injection Critical for removal of large sessile polyps Injection assisted bulbectomy Can facilitate in block capture of the lesion as it creates submucosal cushion To elevate target lesion Diminishes deep tissue injury There are many agents used for some mucosal injection. For example, isotonic normal saline, which is effectuous and popular, but the main drawback is rapid dispersion into surrounding tissue, especially in rectum. The second submucosal injection agent is dextrose and glycerol, which is a cheap and readily available hypertonic solution, it reduces blood resist more longer than normal saline.
The third agent used for some mucosal injection is hyaluronic acid, which is a solution that reduces some mucosal cushion with longest lasting duration, but it is expensive. We can add epinephrine for some mucosal injection agent for hemostasis and we can add staining dye such as methylene blue or indigo carmine for clear delineation of polyp margins and some mucosal layers. There are another ancillary devices which can be used in colonic polypectomy, such as hemoclips, which can be used for hemostasis and to close mucosal defects, detachable snare, which can be used for large polyp with thick stalk, transparent cap, which can be used to examine colonic folds, tattooing, which can be used to mark colonic lesion before surgical resection, ablation devices such as argon plasma coagulation which can be used for hemostasis and to delineate lesion before resection.